Hi everyone, my name is Adam. I'm a senior front-end and full-stack developer and a Web3.js ambassador. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect to a MetaMask wallet using Web3.js in your React application. This tutorial is designed for anyone with some programming knowledge in React and JavaScript who wants to learn how to build web apps using Web3.js. You're going to learn how to install the MetaMask Wallet Chrome extension, how to create a web app in React, import Web3 library in your project, and use features from Web3.js to connect to your wallet. If you wish to code along, you may do so using your favorite code editor. I will be using Visual Studio Code. I will also include the link to the source code of the project in the description. So let's get started. We're going to create a React application where we connect a MetaMask wallet to the blockchain using Web3.js. And before you proceed, we have to make sure that the MetaMask browser extension is installed on our browser. You can install the browser extension by going to metamask.io slash download and download the extension from there. And as you can see, I've already completed this step. Once the MetaMask browser extension is installed, you'll be able to see it in the list of your extensions. Click on the MetaMask extension and you will be given an option to either create a new account or import an existing one. As you can see, I've already created a new account for the purpose of this video. Our current account holds a balance of zero. So now we're ready to create our React application. We will start with creating a complete new React project using Create React App. And we will call this project Web3 Connect MetaMask. Next, we'll move into the root directory of this project and install the dependencies. And then we'll install the npm Web3 package. We will be needing this package to connect our wallet and access blockchain. Next, we will run the application by running npm start. You can see that the application is running. I will start by editing app.js and remove some of the template code that came with the Create React app. For this video, I've already prepared some nice CSS that we will use to style our components. Now, the first thing you want to do is to add a button with the title connect to MetaMask Wallet. I'm adding a class name button large to it to give it some nice styling. As you can see, the button has appeared on screen. Now, when we click on this button, we're going to call a function named connect wallet. Since this function has not yet been implemented, we are receiving an error. So we're going to implement it now. The first thing we want to make sure that the MetaMask browser extension is installed before we start connecting to any accounts. So to do that, we're going to check that the Ethereum object exists on window. The Ethereum object on a window provides access to Ethereum blockchain and its functionalities. This object was injected into the browser when we installed the MetaMask browser extension. Since there are multiple Ethereum providers, we're going to check whether or not the current provider is MetaMask. If the current provider is MetaMask, we're going to initialize our Web3 instance. To initialize, we must first import Web3 into the project. Then we're going to create an instance of Web3. The constructor of Web3 takes a provider as a param. And we're going to send in window.ethereum as the argument. Looking at the Web3 docs, we can see there is a method called request accounts. 
And this method is going to return a promise that resolves into an array of connected accounts. So let's go ahead and implement it. Const accounts is equal to await web3 instance dot eth dot request accounts. We have to ensure this function is async since we're waiting on a promise. Once we have the list of accounts, we will update our state. To do so, we're going to define accounts and set account state. With the state of accounts in place, we're going to make some changes in the code so that we only show the button when there are no accounts. On the other hand, when we do have the accounts and the length of the accounts array is more than zero, we want to display the data that we have received from request accounts. We will display the data inside a card and we'll give the card a heading called account details. We'll display the address that we received from the results of request accounts. For this video, we're just going to display the first item in the array. So let's hit our button and see what happens. We see a pop-up has appeared asking us for our permission to connect wallet. I will grant the permission by hitting on connect. And we have connected our MetaMask wallet successfully since we can see the address of our current wallet displayed on the screen. So guys, as you just saw, this is how easy it was to connect MetaMask in a React application. So let's do a recap. You have learned how to install the MetaMask Chrome extension, create a React app, install the Web3 NPM package, initialize the Web3 instance using window.ethereum object as a provider, and use this instance to request access to the wallet. I hope you found this tutorial helpful for your Web3 development journey. And if you have any questions or would like to see more content like this, please leave a comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials, and you can also join the Web3.js Discord channel and follow Web3.js on Twitter for more updates. The links you'll find below. A little spoiler for what's ahead in this video series, I'll be taking you through the process of creating a fully decentralized app, or DAP as they call it. This will be including deploying a smart contract on the Ethereum blockchain and interacting with the contract using our DAP. So stay tuned as we dive deeper into the exciting world of blockchain development.